what is going on what is going on it's project storm back with another stadia stream um and control is out all of a sudden control comes out of nowhere smacks me right in the face and y'all already know how i have to do this i have to get out here and see how the game performs on stadia i do it all real time live and direct unscripted or whatever i jump into the game test it out Look for the smooth fluidity and all that stuff, 60 FPS or 30, you know. Hopefully, in this case, the game will be running at 60, but we're going to jump right into it today. Um, for anybody that's new to how I do things, this is how I do it. I jump right in, but before I do, as you can see, this is my desktop right here. I like to play at the desktop settings that you're about to see right here on my new LG OLED. I have the LG C1, so this game should look beautiful. It should look beautiful. I don't know. Let's see how it performs on Stadia. That's what it's all about. 120 hertz refresh rate makes everything feels real, really buttery and crispy, right? So I always keep it like that. But let's go ahead and jump right into the game. All right. Now, hey, I didn't even realize the game was going to drop today, but I was just talking about this on the Revolutionary Storm Park podcast that I do with uh, my brother, Stadia Revolution. And I don't, I really don't ever want to see the, the step pretty much want to. Now, for anybody that's going to pop up in the chat, if you're here lurking right now, you can let me know what the audio is like. Please don't be shy. Let me know. Pop up in here. Let me know. Now, we're going to hit the start button, set everything up, man. We got Stadia Revolution in the building right there. I just talked about him. Now, I can tell y'all, hey, as always, when it comes to live, live streaming, even on consoles and PC, something could go wrong. If something goes wrong, I'm going to try to troubleshoot it, come right back. But at 9 out of 10 times, it may not be due to Google Stadia. I can tell you that much. It will be due to my setup. So, I'm going to go into the options real quick. Of course, we're not going to, oh, there it is already. There it is already. We're not going to expect ray tracing over here or anything like that, right? Whenever you can. 30 FPS with the higher quality um, right there with the graphical quality set to graphics is 30 FPS. But right here, targeting 60 FPS. So right off the bat, off, off the bat, we know that the game runs at 60 FPS. I don't care what the resolution is about. What it's set to or anything like that i just know what 60 fps feels like and i prefer that so film grain we turn that off motion blur we turn that off all right but control on google stadia day one man retweet this share it out there let your grandma know whatever the case is man get all the options the settings for all of you who like to pause the, the video and check that stuff out all right let's see Okay, I see right now that there might be some some buffering or whatever going on during the stream. Like I said, I apologize if that's the case. Hold on one second. I got too many things going on for one. My son's always streaming in 4K, man, you know. But here we go, people. Control on Google State. I can't even believe I'm finally saying this, man. Finally say As well as um, on xCloud. And have I tried it on my Series X yet? I'm not sure. But I just want to see how it's going to hold up in the graphical, in the graphical mode. So let's check that out. Come on, bro. Audio. Let me know. Audio levels, y'all. Can you hear her talking? All right. At times I will get quiet. I want you all to get absorbed into the game. I know some people have never seen the game before, so I won't be doing too much talking while she's talking. Turn that up a little bit. All right. That's what I thought, man. Hold on one second. You're going to see everything live and direct right here. Let me turn it up a little bit. Now, if it gets too loud, you got to let me know at different times if you can. I'd appreciate that. So as you see, 
Just turn it up a little bit. Everything should be good now. And we're going to jump right back into it. I always forget that I'm in the browser when it comes to Stadia, man. That's crazy. All right. Let me know if you can hear that audio now since I turned it up a little bit. Stadia Pro Gaming is in the house saying that control looks awesome, man. It's already a hey, the cutscenes. You know, I just want to get out here. I know this is going to be 30. Oh, man, look at the shine on the wall and everything. The details seems like they're going to be there. Oh, the black levels, guys, with this OLED display right now. <sighs> this is crazy, man. This is the life right here. All right, let's see. Alex Billy is in the house. You still can't hear the game? Damn. Hold up one second. We're going to have to go back in. We can't be having a game with no audio. I mean, we could, but, you know, who wants to do that? Desktop. I, this is probably why, guys, right here. I got to switch it to um, either I could do two things, the spit F right there, or let's go. Damn it. Which one is it? Um, let's try this, guys, and see if there's any audio. You all let me know when you hear it. All right, jump back in. See, I keep forgetting I'm in a in a browser, yo. It's it's crazy. It's mind blowing. Hold on. So let me know if you can hear audio now. Michelle Parks is in the house saying, looks interesting, waiting for those sales to drop. I hear that. You, and that's the thing about Stadia Pro. We're going to get into that at some point during the stream, though. But Stadia Pro is awesome. Like, people always ask the question, like, yeah, you know, um, why would I just sign up for Stadia Pro? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, and I'm like, are you serious? Why wouldn't you sign up for Stadia Pro, right? Because they're always having sales. Um, you always get free games and stuff. Like five or six new games just dropped on our heads. You know, courtesy of Stadia Pro. Including a game that I'm highly anticipating, which is Grime. Um, I mean, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's to the point where now as a Stadia Pro consumer, I know I'm going to jump into the gameplay, guys, in a minute. I'm going to show you a little bit of 30 FPS and why I don't prefer 30 FPS. So thank goodness they gave us the 60 FPS high frame rate option but when it comes to these sales and stuff um or these games coming to stadia whatever i don't necessarily yeah you could tell like i don't know y'all you can look at look at these signs on the wall back there right the yellow signs right there you can already, already see 30 fps right that's why i can't do it i need my ms to be smooth fluid and all of that stuff look at the exit signs right but yeah, Stadia Pro is a phenomenal value because you get to claim all of these games. Like people will buy a game and I'll be like, you know what? I've gotten smarter. I buy the games that I must have day one like this. I'm, I must have control, right? But then games like uh, it came from space and ate our brains or whatever. Not saying they're bad or whatever, but they're going to uh, there's a high likelihood that Stadia is going to throw them in there for the pro subscribers. And that's why the value is so phenomenal. Oh, it feels, oh man, all right, okay, hold on y'all, hold on chat, let me check to see if y'all can hear the audio, still no sound, damn, what is going on, as y'all can see, all right, so let me switch to the other one then, LG, see I got a new setup, new display and all of that stuff, man, it comes with new tricks, so let's go in here, and we're gonna do this right here, boom, now hopefully, if you all don't get game sound right now, I don't know what the heck is going on. So let's check it out finally right here. All right, hold on. And it's not going to be too loud. Because it will drown my, drown my voice out easily on the desktop PC, right? Now... But Stadia Pro is, is the way to go, y'all. If you, if you can afford that $9.99 a month, which is not asking a whole lot, by the way, I'd say jump on it and never look back, you know? But you can definitely cancel at any time. That's the beauty of the whole thing. 
All right. So 30 FPS, y'all. For all of you 30 FPS gamers who don't see the difference or don't care about uh, frames per second or whatever, right? This is for you to start out. All right. Oh man, but it feels so responsive though, y'all. Let me let me go in here and uh still no sound. I let me turn it up some more then because I have no idea what's going on. But we could rock out. We could rock out with no sound. I just don't want it to be so loud that it drowns me out. But um as you all can see, anybody that uses Streamlabs OBS, it's got this it's it's gotta be one of these. You know? I just don't get it. I don't understand what the issue is, but there's sound in my ears right now. I could definitely tell you that. All right. And now comes the time where I have to pay attention to what I'm doing, even though I played this already. Man, this feels super responsive, though. Let me go to 60 FPS real quick. We're gonna make it happen regardless though, sound or not. Okay. Okay, now sound. Thankfully, thankfully. I had to turn it up some more. Now it's probably gonna drown me out at times, but who cares about that, y'all? We're having fun, it's day one. We're gonna rock out. Look at that, reflect those reflections. Hey, yo, I'm gonna say this right off the top and people that know me, you know I'm not lying, right? When I say things, I show things at the same time. This feels better than any way I played the game so far, man. I played that PC with ray tracing on and stuff like that. And with ray tracing on, the responsiveness is not as high. And I know that just blew, blew somebody's mind. And I know that just made somebody say, ah, this, yeah, here we go with the cap. The brother's going to cap all, all stream, but I'm not going to. I don't have to. Why cap? This thing, it, the game feels super responsive, super like phenomenal. Did I even change it back to 60 FPS? I think I just did. Yes. Man, you can immediately see the dip. You can definitely tell immediately. Hey, excuse me. Here's the homie right here. Creepy janitor. For anybody wondering whether they should buy the game at this point right now, $40. It's worth $40. That's all I'm going to say. It's worth $40 already. All right. We got foremost in the building, man. Warmaster. G. Millie is in the house. Let's see who else. All right. We got, okay. Mike Rolf is here, man. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Control. Seems like Stadia is in Control. I will say that about they know what it's capable of. So we're seeing games like Control come out here and it and it's looking like a King of Ports contender, the KOP, King of Ports, y'all. That's what it's looking like. It's looking like a strong contender for the 2021 KOP award. Damn. If only y'all knew. Get your hands on it. You'll know what I'm talking about right now. The way it feels. Super duper response. I mean. Negative latency is really showing showing his head right now. Negative latency, y'all. There's no latency. When I start shooting stuff, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, but this game is um is a a, a brilliant game, and there's a lot going on. It it definitely is a game that taxes the hell out of um PCs and stuff. And I know I just ran back down here, but I'm really just getting used to everything, just showcasing the graphics and performance. Man. Game taxes the hell out of PCs, and it's looking real good right now. Feeling real good. All right, let's go here. I'm going to try my best, man, to read this chat, play a game like Control that drops day one on Stadia, and do everything else I need to do during this live stream, y'all. So if I'm y'all, don't get me hype. I'm trying not to get hype. I'm trying to just be calm, storm, and all that. But when I see games running like this, and people are out here asking why Stadia, 
why do you play your games on Stadia? You have an RTX 3080. And I'm like, yeah, but I got to install on the RTX 3080. Sometimes I don't want to do all that. I don't want to do that on my PC. I just want to jump into the damn game because I only got a little bit of time to play or whatever, right? So I got an hour and a half to do this live stream a day. We might go over. We might go over. It depends on how many people come up in here and hit that like button or whatever. And they, you know, you guys want to see more of the game, I'm going to give it to you. But why Stady? I'm like, look, man. Hold on. I might hit the, I got to hit the pause button. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They say Storm. Why Stadia, man? You could have had a PS5. You could have hit G Millie up for a PS5, man. G Million could have got me a PS5 if I wanted one. My boy Project Kill Gaming could have got me a PS5 if I wanted one. I got my hands on the world's most powerful Xbox Series X on a day when Microsoft's um, Flight Simulator launches. Control an old game that already released on other platforms. I'm over here doing a live stream on Stadia. Now, what the hell is going on, you ask? The hell would you do that for, Storm? <laughs> and it's all for the performance that you're seeing right here doing this stream, y'all. Now, something can happen. There could be a glitch. Anything could go wrong. But it won't take away from the experience that you're seeing right now, y'all. It's crazy. That's why I do the Stadia thing, man. Because this is, it shouldn't be possible. We're talking about cloud gaming in 2021, where 5G is not even properly implemented yet, but it's still, I'm still playing Stadia at a high level like this. Are you serious right now? Let's do the slow pan in here real quick so y'all can see the lights, lights, camera action, you know? The game feels so damn good. Now watch this right here, right? I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna keep running by the tables. I'm gonna sprint. Oh, I ran up on the table, but I mean, yo, if there's latency and lag, you're running into the wall. You're not even making it through here. Check that out, man. Check that out. I know I can't go in there because I played the game already. I have never gotten past the halfway point in the game. So a lot of this is going to be brand new once I make it to those areas of the game. But there's so many games on Google Stadia right now to play. I don't even know if I'm going to see 35% of this great ass game i just don't know if i'm ever going to get there because i could pick so many games to choose from to play like this and i don't have to sell stadia when stadia is selling itself i don't have to sell stadia y'all like if you watch project storm storm's 4k streams and or you might have stumbled across one of my 8k streams or whatever i got to talk about those 8k stadia using the desktop the same desktop that i just showed y'all Anybody just got up in the building, this is how you want to play Stadia on your desktop. I keep trying to tell y'all whether you listen, that's on y'all. I don't know. I can't make you listen, but you got all these different refresh rates to choose from. Why would I go this right here? Why would I do that right there? Well, if I want better graphic quality and all that visual quality, I might go 30. But why do that when you can go all the way up here? That's what I want to ask y'all, man. Like, why would I go down to 30 when I can go up to 120 and it makes the desktop makes my experience feel like I'm native 120 hertz gaming? It's it's crazy. So let me see what's going on in the chat, man. As we look at this painting for a minute, man, let's capture the beauty of the painting right here. The horses. I can't. This is perfect. I can lead you all to the water, damn it. But I can't make you drink. I just can't do it. I could tell y'all that 120 hertz is the way to go and why I play Stadia and why it feels like better than my Series X and my PC sometimes, man. But I don't know if y'all might believe me, though. So here's a perfect painting right on time called Storm Can Lead Them to the Water. Can't make them drink. Damn. Here we go. Let's go to this chat, man. Y'all got me. I'm in my bag already. Hold up. Mike said we need a lot more of this uh, to change perceptions right now. An awful lot more of this. Mike, let me say this to you, Mike. There's so much more of this going on right now that we don't really need it yet. You know, there's still a lot of performance that, it, hey, the whole world knows that Stadia runs so great that it, it is considered best in class. You know what I mean? Google's out here putting Stadia on more devices, hundreds of millions of endpoints, Mike. 
hundreds of millions of endpoints where consoles are struggling to hit the damn market, Mike. They don't have to do too much work, man. Not in year two, going on year two. It hasn't even been two years yet. So when you put all this into perspective that I'm streaming this right now and it's making some consoles look embarrassed. They, I mean, it's embarrassing certain consoles, man. I mean, Mike, you, 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 you see where I'm coming from, bro? All Stadia has to do is keep on rolling out the games that people want to play from different genres, man. That's all they have to do. And then when people realize they can just turn on their TV, start streaming Stadia, get an NVIDIA Shield Pro or Walmart um, streaming stick or whatever, then that's going to be the whole grandeur and the allure of cloud gaming, especially on Stadia. That's best in world when it comes to performance, man. World class. I mean, tell me something out there in the cloud that's running better than Stadia as consistently as Stadia, right? And then you're getting games like FIFA 22, Madden 22, um, Ubisoft titles, you name it. They're coming, except maybe for honor. You know what I'm saying? But that might even make it at a later date. You just got, there's so many positives to outweigh the negative concerns that people might have. That's what I'm trying to say here, man. I was on xCloud, for example, yesterday. Shout out to all the people that work hard building xCloud, man. All the engineers and all of them who, who brought xCloud to us. World's most powerful Series X performance is what we just got upgraded to. However, I was on Battlefield 5 yesterday, and Battlefield 5... I couldn't even show that to the people, man. I was going to do a live stream. I, I mean, you know what? I would be. Able, I, I, I could show y'all if you don't believe me. But it was so it was so pixelated that I didn't even want to go live. That it would have been embarrassing for me to showcase that. So Stadia has that in the bag as well. I mean, I man, look. People have their own opinion. It is what it is. I'm out here playing these games. I see Rick Tone is in the house. Rick Tone knows what I'm talking about. You know, his artist is in the building. He knows what I'm talking about. And Mike, Mike, you know, Mike, you know how we had these conversations, man. Shout out to you for stopping by and lighting the chat up on the Revolutionary Storm. Forgot what episode it was, but you remember that, I'm sure. Dylan Tortosa is in the building, man. I don't want to miss anybody to stop by to check out Control. Now, the only thing missing is Janet Jackson's song, her hit song, man. She's one of the goats, by the way. That's the only thing missing right here. But Stadia, just, all they need to do is just play the cards right, man. They're leading the industry right now as far as cloud gaming, in my opinion. They're leading the, I mean, GeForce Now is getting the games and all that stuff, man. We need them all. You saw they were, they were going to basically head to the cloud or something like that. I'm paraphrasing. Stadia said, all right. <laughs> what did they say, y'all? You, you, you seen the tweet. If you saw the tweet, it was a beautiful thing. They were like, hey, Amazon performance, if I'm showcasing streams like this at 4K 60 FPS, and people are asking me, Storm, how come xCloud don't look like Stadia? I, yeah, that's so last year. We're already working on ways to go to 120 hertz at 4K, 8K at 60 or whatever. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Rev said devs are already making more money from the new model. Yeah, that new model. We're not even talking about that right now. How how enticing that's going to be for especially a new indie developer that's trying to get a little bit of extra bread and attention on a platform like this where they can put their games out there and up to a hey, up to hundreds of millions, millions of people could get exposed to their games, could get exposed to their game. Right. Say one of them pulls the next Valheim, Valheim or something like that, right? It becomes like an overnight success. And they manage to get like maybe 5% of that, that, that base. And you're looking at some great things that could happen, man. So you want to get your, hand, your game in the hands of as many players as possible. The cloud offers a low friction way to do that. Low barrier to entry and all that good stuff, right? That's why we cloud game. We're out here testing for the for the future generations right now. That's how I feel, and I'm proud to do that. I'm out here. This is for my son one day, so I can show him, man. Look, man, I was one of the the testers, the pioneers. I'm not an OG, but I'm one of the pioneers of this thing, man. I've been putting in so many hours. Hold up, let me hit you with the. Let's hit you with the. If if you all understood how this felt, like there's no latency. There was no. I can tell like even a half of a, a half a millisecond. There's no I'm talking about there's no latency at all, y'all. At all, period. 
This is mind blowing, man. Now we see why these games take so long to hit the platform sometimes. And I hope y'all can hear me because I got the audio up. So if y'all, if I'm getting drowned out by the audio, I got to make some adjustments. So let me know if I need to turn the game sound down. This right here should be easy. Hold on, hold on, y'all. It should be easy to pull off a headshot. Look, at there's one. Let's go. Headshot two. It's so easy. Just walk right into it. I could just go with you. Look, I could, oh, he pulled a crossover on me, Allen Iverson. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just so easy to just get on here and just kill every target as I'm missing because I'm so damn so excited to be shooting right now but y'all don't take my word for it wait for the next streamer to let y'all know how this game is performing because all you're gonna hear is control runs beautifully that's what you're gonna be hearing if somebody tells you control plays like trash on stadia they're lying <laughs> they're lying especially with this option right here y'all hold up hold up man i could be on flight sim right now on the world's most powerful console flying looking at my house or whatever real time right now but then stadia says nope we know what you wanted to do storm you're gonna get your ass on this control a little hitch after i come out of the um the menu that's something that doesn't bother me but if you see it it's there so don't think you're going crazy when you do hold on hold on look at the physics man let's go all right, 30 FPS with a little bit more shine on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Again, remember, this is one of the most taxing games on PC. Even at 30 FPS, I could pull out the, the headshots, though. Oh, my God, it's too easy. Can I increase the difficulty? Hold on, hold on one second, man. I need to turn it. Is there a difficulty slider, man? I need to turn that all the way up. This is way too easy. This is what Stadia Gaming is all about. Aim assist, we could turn that off, y'all. You get what I'm saying? Controller aim stickiness. What does this do? Slow down the movement of the camera. I'm going to leave that on, right? All right. Now, again, there's probably going to be some buffering. Like, I'm seeing buffering on my end. Let me know if y'all see buffering or whatever. It might happen. Because I am streaming at 4K. My son's out there streaming at 4K. Y'all know how I do it, man. But this is only going to be the first stream. It doesn't have to be perfect to showcase what you all have already seen so far. We got Squid up in the building, man. Anders is up in the house. I just saw Anders. Where did I see Anders. I think I might have caught a glimpse, a little bit of Chase's stream, and I saw you in the chat, Anders. That's what's up, man. It's, it's a long time no sees. I'm glad you popped by. You know what? Let's see here. I'm happy. Happy to be here. Um, yeah, let me know. Any imperfections, y'all. I don't take that stuff personal, man. I need to know. Is it safe to go? Uh, Foremost said, devs are outpacing from old model. Yes, sir. Um, it's artist says what's up storm. I'm control uh, right now as well Are you playing the game right now and the game looks and runs great such a good port and see there you go, man He just backed it up not not like you all didn't believe me, but we got Kenry in the house man Kenry V is in the building. What is the deal man sounding like mm2k with the yo yo yo? All right, that's my brother right there though. He'll, he he should be by he's probably lurking right now I just talked to him earlier. We just had a meeting or whatever. PNTS network meeting. Um, Collins Dynasty. I, I'm just reading the chat right now, y'all. Then I'm going to take back off. And when I do, I'm not going to stop. And we got the, the homie MM2K spiritual advisor. This brother right here is cool as hell. The only other person cooler than Clive Illenden is... He already knows what I'm about to say. Lord Kenzel, man. Give it up for Lord Kenzel. That dude right there is an OG. You ask me who is the most OG mother in the whole stadia community? Lord Kenzel. And he gets slept on. He gets slept on, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear people bringing him up. Like, he, he, you talk about Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris ain't got a damn thing on Lord Kenzel, man. Shout out to the homie Lord Kenzel of stadia. All right, now. We're going to go back to 60 FPS, though. I know, y'all. I know some people are like, Storm, I can't believe you went to 30 FPS. Well, I have to. I have to showcase the game, man. This is day one. Now, 
So right there coming out of the menu, I want to show y'all one more time. There is, there does seem to be a little hiccup, but they could easily optimize that. Like coming out of the menu, hitting the resume game, boom, right there. That's the only flaw that I'm seeing so far. That's it. If you want to consider that a flaw. This is not going to bother me. Oh, forgot about that. Forgot about that, y'all. Oh, it looks kind of spooky. All right, hold on. Let's uh, pull out the gun just in case, man. You know, we don't play with no damn floating people. I mean, look at the just like, look at the detail, and then imagine me seeing all of this on, on my LG C1 OLED. The black levels are just crazy right now. Her lips, the teeth, nose, eyes, everything. All right, so let's get it, man. No aim assist necessary. Ha <laughs> ha, busting heads. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did y'all see that head buster? Did you see the head buster right there, y'all? Did you see the head buster with no aim assist? Let me just double check and make sure it's not on. Hold on, hold on, man. Storm, you can't be out here doing this on Google Stadia, bro. You might have to make me cop a Stadia. Well, you already have Stadia. All you need is a Gmail that you use every day, and then you can just sign up and go over to Stadia.com, man, and just start claiming Tesla Model S or whatever you got. Your big 65-inch OLED, your 8K, 83-inch LED. You can play Stadia every damn where, man. You can play Control on all those endpoints. But Storm, man, bro, then you can't even tell if I'm streaming on my PC or my Series X or whatever the case is half the time, unless you're looking for ray tracing and stuff. But when it comes to performance and all that, you telling me that you couldn't play like this right here? Hold on, man. Let's bust, let's bust some heads open. Now, I'm going to set him up right here. I'm going to set him up. Solid snake. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, apparently. Okay, apparently he was trying to get me out of here on my own stream, so I got to focus up. One second. Hold on, hold on. F you. I know I can't get in this room yet. All right, it's F U time. Focus up. Let me look at the map. Make sure I'm going where I'm supposed to be going. See, I play so many games, man. I forgot the damn map button. What's the map button, y'all? Look how cool this is. Let's do the slow walk. Here we go. Now it's time to get out here and just run up on him. Stiff arm. Let's go. Let's go head busser. You know what I'm saying? It's Google Stadia, y'all. It's not PC. It's not a next-gen console. There's no aim assist on. I can make all this happen on Stadia. I mean, it's real easy. Look at that. Head busser. Let's go. All right. Hold on. Take that. Take that hip fire, head busser. Oh my God, there it is. He ran up on me. I, was, I showed off on him. You know what I mean? You can't be out here showing off on him like that. They will get you. Now, let me go back to the chat. Christopher Torres is up in here. Unitrix is in the building, man, saying hello there. Torres saying control for 40 bucks. I, I, I'm doing it, man. That's what he said. Torres has already pulled that trigger from work using his cell phone. Quick and convenient. He can even boot up for five minutes on his lunch break or 15 if he wanted to and play a little bit of the first mission, man. All right, now look. Let me go back to what you all are saying real quick. Lord. Stop the damn show. Stop the show and stand up. Get on your damn feet right now, man. Do you know who's out here? Lord Kenzo of Stadia. I was just talking about this. Do a hey, Lord Kenzo Stadium, man. Look, man, you, bro, motivate me to do this every day, man. You inspire me to do better things, greater things, 
Uh, I just had a meeting with MM2K today talking about what we need to do, man, to make sure that we are on your level, sir. Um, bro, when I ran, I jumped out of that plane on PUBG with you, man. It was the greatest thing I've ever done. The way you held that shoddy, man, with one hand, waited for the dude to run upstairs, blocker, 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 right to his dome. I said, yo, how the hell am I supposed to play PUBG with somebody else? And I, and I haven't since that day, man. I haven't played PUBG since that day. Lord Kenzo was in the house, man. Act like y'all know. That's the homie. Subscribe to his channel. The boy is a real OG. Especially when he puts on that bandana, man. You thought Mr. Miyagi was cool? Nah. Nah. Lord Kenzo is that boy, man. But, hey, look. Let me tell y'all something. This game gets a 10 out of 10 already, performance-wise. I mean, anytime I can do this right here with no aim assist. I mean, I mean, who won it? Oh, he fell down. Watch I run up on him then and hit him with the stiff arm. Let's go. That's how we do it out here. Yo, the pulling, the pulling of the trigger. It's illegal, man. I tell you what, this game is also on other cloud platforms, but hold up. Shout out to them all, man. Luna, xCloud, GeForce Now. Y'all better get it together, though, man. Y'all got to get it together. I love all y'all. Got to get it together because when I hit this Y button, bang. Hey, man, there's no... There's no delay. When I'm aiming my gun, boom, there's no delay. So why do I love Stadia so much? It's because of this right here. I can switch over right now and do this on my cell phone. My new Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G that I just got finally upgraded from my old ass S6 because I was waiting for that 5G technology and that 8K camera. You know what I mean? So I finally went out and upgraded my phone, man, and I'm glad I did. Let's see. Details on deck. Look at that. The slow pan with the reflections off the marble like finish. You got to stay with me. Vending machine. Can we see any details in the vending machine? I see some pistachios. I see some potato chips. I see some kind of mix at the top right. I see some pretzels right there. You know what I'm saying? We got protein, fibers, and all that stuff down bottom, man. Yo, it's going down over here on Stadia with the detail. All right. Go ahead and get your jump on. Let me, let me, I, got, I have to do the jump test just so y'all can check the latency out yourself. You know, I don't have the fancy uh, the fancy tool that I can hold up against the TV and the white lights flickering and all that stuff. I don't have that. But what I do have is the Project Storm jump test. So we're going to count to three and then I'm going to jump, right? One, two, three, jump. Right on cue. One, two, three, jump. Right? Jump. 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 Shoot. Everything instant. I'm talking about spontaneous. Like, it's just there, y'all. I don't have to say it anymore during, during, during the whole stream, but I know I will. Um, okay, so where am I supposed to go? Proceed further into the bureau. Let's see here. I love this game. Love the game. The slow pan is there. Not choppy, letting people see how smooth this is. You know what I'm saying? Cinematic pans is so smooth. You know what I mean? This is how it was. Hey, if there was lag going on, it would look like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it will look like that when I'm doing a cinematic pan, but it doesn't. All right. So now that I've had a little bit of fun, we're going to go and check out what Ander said. All these services will have the same gains. And that's and you know what, Anders, I've been noticing that, man, and I like it too, because I think it's safe to say that when one service gets a, a game in the cloud, 
it's not too long that another one will. You know, I've been noticing that with certain games, bro. Uh, Luna will get a game. Next thing you know, that game comes to Stadia. Stadia gets a game. That game comes to Luna. Um, same with GeForce Now. GeForce Now is getting all kinds of games, man. Their library is already crazy right now with, with multiple games that you can play. And let's not sleep on GeForce Now, by the way. Don't sleep on it. You know, just because Project Storm wants to play at 4K don't mean that G GeForce Now or Luna or any of these services are just straight up trash. All right. Let's see. The only thing missing for me is the 4K aspect in these other services. That's it. That's what keeps me off of them as much as I do Stadia. Now, um, what the hell is the map? Okay, up on the D-pad is map, so I need to go to the central executive office. And I feel like I should be able to just jump. Okay, cool. Just use your brainstorm. No aim assist. I don't know how many people you're going to be seeing that's doing it with no aim assist, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Hold up. Let me go ahead and get me a headshot. Get that headshot. Oh, missed him. Headshot. Where's your boy at? Headshot. Oh, headshot. Let's go. I'm going to have to run up on him. Huh. Got to watch this dude right here. Hit him again. Hit him with the heat. Hit him again. If it's not a headshot, it's not right. If it's not a headshot, it's not right, y'all. Don't come out. Don't come up up out here with no leg shot, no no kneecap shots and stuff. We don't do that over here. Not on Stadia. All right. Time to get back to the chat. This right here is a perfect game to stream, by the way, because you get breaks so you can catch up with your chat and everything. All right, Ashes to Ashes is in the building, y'all. Ashes, my brother, I know that flight sim is looking beautiful, man. Hopefully you can tell me that you've been on it doing the landing challenges and, and, and everything else, man. Uh, I know you just came from a beautiful location, Ashes. Um, I did see the pictures on Twitter, I think it was, that you dropped recently, man. So you might want to fly out there. Hold on one sec. And we also have Geek the Sneak. And <laughs> that's my dog right there. Geek the Sneak, I seen you out there in Z's chat, man. I'm like, look at Geek the Sneak up in the building, man. Now you can bounce right back over here and show love to, to a stadium, bro. I, I appreciate it so much, man. You don't even have no clue. Cloud Busters is in the house looking at this control, man. You all are saying so much. I can't keep up, man. Rick Tone said the performance on uh, Stadia Beats Cloud uh, uh, on, um, wait a minute, uh, the performance on the hell Beats Cloud for me, even on 5G is man. All right. So that one I might need a little bit of clarity on because I know you're saying the performance on something, but are you saying the performance on Stadia Tone? I know it can't be Stadia. That's not getting not not getting a, a a positive compliment like that from Rick Tone, bro. Now my brother, hey y'all y'all know Tone keeps it honest out there. You know what I'm saying when it comes to Stadia, he keeps it real. He's one of the ones out there along with me and Rev and others out there with something negative to say. We're gonna say it, but we're not gonna say it in a way that's just gonna be out there bashing Stadia. You know, like blatantly bashing it. And you're gonna see Tone out there playing Stadia, by the way, not just talking about it. But I know how y'all type on y'all keyboard and mouse like that's like me on Twitter, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me know if I if I got something wrong, bro. But typos are going to happen. We all know it. We all make them. Let's get it popping. All right. Now. Let's get everything flashing real quick. Oh, that's music. Turn it off. This game does have some real um, actual copyrighted music, I think. At certain parts of it so I have to be careful with that okay go get into some action
All right. Um, Mike said the Stadia Revolution. I read that tweet. Thanks for the info. I'm hoping there's no co um, coordination between this move and the apparent loss of some sequel. Then some sequels. Then hopefully the two have been conflated only. All right. Not sure what games that y'all were talking about, but I, I might stumble across that. So Asher said yes. Grabbed it quick uh, on Game Pass as well as this uh, as well. But this is the ultimate edition. Hell yeah. That's what I was saying, though, Ashes. That's why I was so excited. Like, Rev hit me up. Rev called me, whatever, right? Talking about um, Grime and, and we were talking about Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters movie and stuff like that, right? I said, Rev, do you understand what's going on right here? Control Ultimate Edition is on Stadia right now for 40 bucks, man. I got to go, Rev. And that's how the conversation ended. You know what I mean? Rev can tell y'all, man. I was trying to get over here and get this stream popping. All right. But shout out to my bro, man. Check us out every Sunday, y'all. The Revolutionary Storm Podcast. This Sunday is going to be back on my channel. So subscribe today for more of this control. Subscribe for a lot of different games being streamed at 4K and all that good stuff. Um, I got to show y'all one more time. Because you do need to do this if you're playing on desktop. If you're not playing at 120 hertz or higher, for some of you who have 360 hertz monitors, if you're not playing Stadia like this on your desktop, on SSC podcast this Wednesday or something to have a conversation with you. Because I'm telling y'all, the performance I'm getting right now is crazy. All right. Now, what am I supposed to be doing? Hey, I need to go to that central all right so still speak with the voice okay on the safe room intercom safe room intercom where the hell is the safe room uh safe room intercom. i mean i've done this already but it's hard when you're streaming y'all damn There it is. My turn. Christopher Torres said. Jesse Hayden. Yo, is is she loud? If is she loud while I'm trying to talk to y'all? Somebody let me know. Give me the real audio breakdown. Alright, Torres said Done Control in my library. One piece is next, still thinking about it. Hmm. Same thing with me, man. One piece. Save me. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. All right, let me let me wait until this this is over. But somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building. Got to get a screenshot of her, man. Hold on. My name for it is official. She's one of the valuable players. Sound of poison gas. F12. F12 instant screenshots, endless, unlimited screenshots, y'all. You don't have to wait for in the process like on my Series X, man. Stadia's doing some good things. Doing some real good things. Alright, so even the screenshot shows that there's no latency, right? Watch this. Three, two, one, F12. Instant screenshot, y'all. It's already taken. Already being processed at 4K. Get a video of it. Three, two, one. F12, hold it down. He keeps appearing. Saving a capture that quick. Saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. All right. The hiss helped. The whole room shifted. And you did that. And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown. Now's a good time to do this right here just for the new people who may not know, the people who are just stumbling across the channel. Like right now I'm running this in the with the Chrome beta browser, right? Say something happens and I have issues like I had a few months ago where I couldn't start my games or whatever. For some reason it was a Chrome issue. I had to go in and do a couple tricks. But then I can go over here, Chrome Canary, boot up, you know what I'm saying? It saves individual settings. Now it might load PUBG. I think I might have messed up right there because for some reason, and I don't know why this happens. But for some reason, 
it saved my last game. Let's see if that really happens, man. I might have just messed up my actual save. But look, that's not a problem. Type in. Boom. All right, let's see. Is this Chrome Canary? All right, Chrome Canary, right? Control. Let's see if it picks up where I left off. Probably not because I messed it up. Um, for some reason, every time I start Chrome, my Chrome browser, it was like it'll just launch into PUBG. Like it automatically saved the last setting. Look at that. Look how smart it is, though. I canceled out of it, came back, and it still saved that save. As long as it's 15 minutes, y'all, this is fast as resume. You know what I mean? It's not quick resume like on the Xbox Series X. That's amazing. Up to six games can be, um, you could jump back into six, up to six games, I think. Instantly walk away from your console for hours or whatever, come back. But this right here is pretty damn awesome because I can have this set to 1080p. If I didn't want to play stream my Stadia games at 4K, I could have this set to 1080p because it's a different browser or whatever, right? Different settings, all that stuff. It's Crazy. Even... Look, Jesse, so this is my second console right here. Chrome Canary. A free console to continue to play Stadia on, y'all. All right. Then you can maybe we got infected or possessed by the hits. The... Because if that's Sean L is in here, man. What's going on? I just saw you on Twitter. Put a like on your tweet, man. What's going on with you? I don't know. I want to make sure I didn't forget anybody and then see if I can pull out. Oh, man. We got Packet Man. This running at 4K, 1080p. This right here is 1080p, probably likely upscale. Let me go into the settings and show you real quick, Packet Man, if you're still here. Um, and this is why I do this stuff multiple times because I do really definitely stay tuned to um to Twitter, man. Guys like Original Penguin and others are gonna be breaking it down. We'll get that information for you though, man. But definitely follow follow me on Twitter. Um, if you had those questions later on, if nobody answered them for you. Or if somebody knows in the chat, help Packet Man out. But right now, this is the high frame rate, right? I did. I went between graphics and high frame rate. Preferred 30 FPS over 60. So that's the reason why I'm not. I'm not playing with the at the high frame. I mean, the graphical setting. I can try. But the game is detailed, as you can see, man. The cutscenes don't don't look far off from any other platform that I've seen the game running on. Okay. Um. Now, ray tracing and stuff like that on PC and Series X, PS5 makes a difference. I will say that. But this is why, for anybody that's wondering why I don't really prefer 30 FPS, if you look in that background, it, it should come across, y'all. Look at the concrete in the background as I'm turning the camera. It makes me want to throw up, man. It just does something to me motion-wise. And this is why, when I say I don't prefer 30, that's why. Look at the guy right here. See how blurry he is? Like, I just can't, I can't do it. Can't do it for extended periods of time. So back to high frame rate. All right. So it says, cleanse to his corrupted agent. And where the hell is he? Hold on one sec. Damn, it's like I never played the game, man. I really forgot what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, I'm not supposed to go. I just want to check in here real quick. All right, let me go find this agent. Not these guys. It wouldn't be. Um, the hell is he? Oh, Executive Central. Let's just go... Go up in here. I'm sure that's where I'm supposed to go anyway. Wait. Central executive. I'm here, so am I am I just supposed to find this guy, y'all? Because I can't remember. Um executive central. Oh, over there. I see him now. 
Damn. Here we go. Oh, her now. I love this game, man. It's just a masterpiece to a brother like me. Let's go down. Go see what she has to say again, and then we're off. I can't cleanse them. But y'all, all of the functionality, doing everything, just feels spot on on this game. Just... I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. All right, so now's a good time to check some chat. Listen, the bureau was a um. Torres said the recording 30 second clips is my thing. That's the difference between Stadia and other platforms, the features. Yeah, man, I can't wait for them to go ahead and build on, um, you know, like a, a lot of people are ask, asking for like an activity feed type of setup, like on the Xbox and all that stuff. That's going to be dope when they implement things like that. But the features that we have, man, they work pretty well. They work consistently too. Stream Connect and others, you know, so it's a beautiful thing all around, man. Crowd play, the beta just rolled out to more content creators. Um, crowd choice is already being experimented with and stuff like that. It's, it's possibly just going to get better. All these features, man, is just crazy, man. Direct YouTube streaming came. Everybody is there saying that's a lifesaver. So much more that's coming, man. This is only the beginning. See ya. I'm watching the cutscene. I, I will forget about y'all at times, man. I get pulled into the game. Cloudbuster says, uh, uh, oh, we're back to the no game sound? Up the game volume to stream by 50%. Oh, all right. I'm, let me try that real quick. Let me try it. Because I want to make sure, man. Let me show you the settings that I have right now, right? So I have it on negative 23. I don't want it to be up here because then you won't be able to hear me. But halfway, like, is can anybody else hear this? Like, let me know when I, when I adjust it now. Let's see. I don't know what's going on with the sound setup. Prench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? Is this with HDR? Nah, I don't have HDR enabled because, hold on, I don't like the way it makes certain games look. Like, even on PC, I don't use HDR on PC, only on my Xbox Series X where it looks beautiful at, man. So this is definitely off. Like, there's something about the Series X, and then the Series X having um, Dolby Atmos, I mean, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for sound, but Dolby Vision compatibility and stuff, man, it makes the game, the colors look so deep and crazy, y'all. It's a beautiful thing to see. I think you already know. Yes, I can. But there's another thing about using HDR when you're making videos and stuff. Sometimes it washes out the image for the viewers unless you have tone mapping just um, enabled or whatever. Like in my Elgato capture card, I have to turn on tone mapping and stuff. Um, so that it comes out good for you all. If not, it'll look washed out. So something else to keep in mind, uh, keep your mind on. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless? How does it look so far for you, man? It looks, it looks excellent. Hold on. I'm just trying to see at times, like I say, I might cut out y'all because the stream is probably is buffering or whatever. Um, what I should have done is I should have done this using my streaming PC, but it's only the first stream though. We're going to have some hiccups, but the a cloud game in the stream, the, it, it, it looks and plays beautifully, man. And I know that you all are going to be some that like, you're going to break it down, give your thoughts on the performance of it and all of that good stuff. So I'm curious to know what you all are going to say about it. But yeah, man, it's all that. Let's see. 
performing like brilliantly now after i pause after you hit the menu and then you come back to the game you do get this hiccup right it's like a, a frame a quick frame drop but i can deal with that because you don't have to go in the start menu a hundred times especially when your map is on up on the d-pad but that's the only concern the only thing that i could see people saying hey well why is it doing that everything else is beautiful just beautiful all right let's go down here real quick Message. All right, so I hear the hiss over here, and I didn't I didn't adjust any settings except turning aim assist off. Hold on. Yeah, I just turn aim assist off because I really don't need it. Oh, somebody got jacked up. Oh, oh, whoa, wait. Wait a minute here. Okay. I have to do this, y'all. You got to bear with me right here. Hey, if the stream starts buffering really bad or whatever, y'all let me know because what I'm going to do is make this one a short one. Um, tr try to troubleshoot or whatever, or you, I'll use my streaming PC in the next video I do. So that way I don't have to worry about any of these issues. But the good thing about cloud gaming is it doesn't really, like there's not much of a hit. Hold on, let me show you. Not much of a hit at all on your CPU usage and all that stuff, right? So if you look down here, CPU is fine. So I don't understand. Like my bit rate is at 40. I lowered it to between 45 and then 80,000. Normally it's running at 51. That That's the YouTube standard or whatever. That's what they recommend. So I don't understand why I get these, 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 the buffering and stuff like that that happen from time to time. I don't understand that, but I need to figure it out because it's not Stadia at all. All right. So I know I can't go in this room. I made a fatal mistake and tried to go in there before. That's all bad. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on. See, I try to anticipate their movement, right? But it's hard to tell which way they're gonna go, right, left, whatever. And I'm trying to pull off all headshots. Damn. On the floor. Headshot on the floor. Let's go. All right. Go collect this real quick. Go ahead and show these physics. beautiful thing about this game this is why it's so taxing the fact that i could just chip away at stuff like check that out great destruction like battlefield like you know what i mean look even though i can't let's see let's go let's try to get up here look at that different angles check that out look at that corner right there all of this stuff is just real-time physics i don't even know how to explain it y'all I've never seen it before. I, I, I mean, I think about games like, like Battlefield. Like, uh, hold on, my mouse is falling off the damn table. Hold up, one second. But this is using the controller too. Imagine if for all of you people that are keyboard and mouse experts and stuff, right? You can go in there and adjust your settings. This is me aiming with the with the mouse, so that's pretty spot on. Um, however. My setup is not as smooth as it needs to be as far as mouse pad and all that stuff goes, man. I need to get my 
get get my game up when it comes to keyboard and mouse gameplay. All right, so, but back to the, the physics though, look at that. Fell off me. Hold on, wait a minute. One second. Damn, you see the whole root of the tree. That's crazy. All right, anyway. See where I'm supposed to be going. Creepy ass noises going on right now, throwing me off my game. All right, let me see what you all are saying real quick. Cloud Gaming Dad in the house. Y'all know what time it is. When, oh man, hold up, Cloud Gaming Dad. Hold on, man. I get right back to you, bro. I got a head to pop off. Let's go. Get up out of here. One thing you don't do is interrupt the brother while he's trying to stream at 4K. You know what I'm saying? Get your head popped off. Get your head popped off. You too. For what your homie did. Get your head popped off. All right. As I was saying. Before I was interrupted. Cloud Gaming Dad is in the building, man. Let the party commence, man. We have Gabe in the house. Gabe Mendez is in the building. What's going on? He said, totally agree with HDR. It seems to work um, correctly on consoles. Gabe, man, thank you for backing me up on that, man. I know all, a lot of console gamers know exactly what I'm talking about, especially those who has that Series X. Series X is no joke when it comes to just beautiful HDR gaming and stuff, y'all. I, for the first time, using this TV, the LG C1, I enabled Dolby Vision. Don't let anybody tell you that Dolby, Dolby Vision causes lag and stuff like that. I haven't seen any of it. So I don't know what's going on, man. Some people I know said that they tried Dolby Vision and it made the game play a little bit laggy. And I don't know how that's why that would even be a thing. Um, but it didn't happen for me. It just made the games really like super saturated in a good way. Um, it added 12 bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It added what it did add was 12 bit. Um, HDR, which is normally 8-bit and 10-bit. 10-bit is the real HDR, up to 1,000 nits. You have to have a display up to capable of up to 1,000 nits or whatever to see true HDR. Now, this OLED does not hit 1,000 nits. I don't believe the C1 does. When it comes to HDR gaming, I'm, I don't know. I know it's bright enough for me, though. It's definitely bright enough for me. The, the, I had the 8K Samsung, Samsung Q800T. Brilliant TV, loved it. 8K was just mind blowing, even at a 65 inch size. I wanted, I took that one back only because I want to get 8K in, in a bigger size, like 75 inches or whatever, right? But man, Dolby Vision, I got Stadia, if you're listening, put that on the list for future features to come to the platform. Dolby Vision, I'm telling you, dope. All right, here we go. Oh, you oh oh you thought you wasn't gonna get hit in the head. Alright. So let's see how much time how long have I been streaming for? Uh let me refresh this real quick so I can see. 72 minutes ago already? It's been over an hour already, y'all. Now that's just crazy. All right. Um, cleanse control points to gain access. Damn it. Yeah, I'll, let me see. Let me check the map. Um, so you know what I might do? I don't want to end it. I feel like I need to, though. Because I play this all damn day, man. You know what? Let's just keep on going. Forget it. 
Why not? Nothing in there. Oh, 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 oh. Man, you try to throw something at me, you're going to have a problem on your hand. Uh oh. It's about, there's about to be a fight, y'all. Hold on. Let me see what the chat is saying before I get into it. Alex Billy said, I'll be sure to check it out. CGX, man. Let's see. For sure. Good to hear. Chief is working on the gameplay vid right now. Comparison coming tomorrow. I already know how Chief does over there, man. I know how Chief does over there. You know, y'all, hey, Jerry, you guys have been doing your thing, man. I mean, you know, I've been checking it out. Top quality work as always. CGX, y'all. Check them out. You know what time it is. So, um, I want to go, let's see here. Rick, hey, Geek the Sneak was talking Outriders, man. It caught my eye. I had to go up there. He was talking to Rick Tone and said, I love Outriders, but took a, a break on it because of issues. Geek, I did the same thing, bro. Before I go in here and destroy this, this boss or mini boss, whatever this guy is, right? I got to, I mean, we could talk about everything during the live streams, man. Um, Outriders, it disappointed me only because, now on Series X, the game ran be beautifully, even better than on PC, man. Now, how the hell is that possible, right? On Series X, I didn't have any, well, I had crashing issues, like the game would crash to, um, to the home screen or whatever. But that's it. I, mean, I was in the game plan. No performance issues whatsoever. And now the game doesn't even crash anymore. They, they fixed that up. And the PC version plays a lot better than it did. But we're not even going to talk about that Stadia version right now, man. I like how Stadia, you know, is trying to handle everything when it comes to that. That must be tough. But look, we got games like Control, right, to focus on. And that's why we need these games to come over here, man, so it can make up for those games that are not unfortunately not as optimized or ready to go out of the box at launch man we can always spend our money and our time elsewhere until they get it all resolved man cyberpunk anyone that was another one that i was highly anticipating came out running very well on stadium pc oh man we know the whole story all right so this dude right here i just want to see what he's going to try to really do to me let's look at the lighting that he uh when he, when he launches things around. Look at the lighting and stuff. Check that out real time. Only Project Storm would do this. You know? Alright, here we go. Alright, now I need to get closer to him. I don't have the ability to pick things up and throw it, so I have to kill him in order to get that. My problem is, it's hard to see this dude. God. Sam is hard to see him. Hold on. Let me get my bearing back. Oh, I get I can't, huh? Woo wee. So we're gonna take an L right here. Damn, I can't even see boy, man. Hold up. I don't remember it being that hard the first time I played this. I think I killed him in my first first attempt. Where the hell is he? I see the stuff moving, but I don't see him at all. Damn. Yo, this looks really good, though, man. Hold up. Check out the lighting. That's why I don't mind dying when I'm having an experience like this. Hold up, hold up. It feels so good that I'm not, like, I'm over-pursuing at times because of how good it feels. I'm not used to that, man. Hold up. Where the hell is this? All right, so wait, 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 wait. I'm doing something wrong. I have to be. What the hell did I do to kill this guy the first time I played him? Hold on. All right, so I got to take this out. Look at the chat, man. Help me out because obviously... I forgot what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's not a good thing. So, uh, as I go down, 
Gamer TV is in the house. Thomas is in the building. Randy B is in the house, man. Everybody's coming to see this control, man. Hit that like button for control. Don't hit that like button for me. You know what I mean? Hit it for control. Now you can hit that subscribe button for me and I'll hit it back because I always go through my subscribers and subscribe back. I also follow back on Twitter. So follow me at the Nef at the the Nephophiliac, right? That means someone who loves clouds, in case people don't know. Someone who loves clouds. And I love me some cloud gaming, so you know. I went with the name. Alright. So I want to see if the chat gave me any tips, man, because clearly I forgot how to play this dude. Running way better. All right, way better, y'all. Tell me why Outriders is playing better on Stadia. Tone, don't play with me, man, because I'll buy that right now. Live on stream. Give me the, hey, give me the official heads up, and I'll purchase that right here live on stream, bro. Like, play for like a good 20, 30 minutes, and let me know your overall. Th man, hey, playing with a mouse I feel like I'm doing it wrong, y'all. For all of you keyboard and mouse players that's going to jump out here on this game and use this. See, the, the sensitivity is too high. Hold on. Let me go into options or whatever. Let y'all keyboard and mouse players see what you can adjust, man. Because that, I feel like I'm, it, it's way more fluid with the keyboard and mouse, of course. That's like anything else. That's why PC gamers are PC gamers, right? Let me see. Sure, I went past the controls. Uh, let's go back. Is it mouse sensitivity right here? Boom. Now let's just see how it feels. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Much better. However, I don't know if it's my mouse pad, man, but I want to be able to smoothly pan. See, here's the problem I keep having keyboard and mouse users, right? If I have a controller, I can do this right here. You see what I'm saying? Like, I could just do that. Look at the reticle. Real slow, real consistent, right? All the way around. Now, of course, when it comes to aiming at a target that's like, say, up here somewhere, keyboard and mouse is going to get there much faster, right? But if I want to do that same slow pan, this is how it looks when I use my keyboard. And I have to adjust and optimize. Look, it's just, it's not as smooth as I need it to be. And maybe I need to put weights in my mouse. Maybe it's just... My mouse pad itself, I have this big, huge mouse pad right next to me. And it's just not as smooth, but right here on the satellite. Oh, damn, over pursuit. Ah, uh, door. See, damn, I'm, it's just, I got to adjust it, y'all. So I don't have time to do that, man. I just, I just jump out here and play. Okay, hold up. Uh, pneumatics. Let's go to pneumatics. Then I'll get back to the chat in a second, y'all. Let's see. Where is pneumatics? I need to go downstairs. So. One sec. All right. Straight ahead. Jump on a table. Jump up here. Easy. Oh, damn. Hit the select button because I'm used to that. Uh... I think I went to hit it again. All right, so it's not that way, is it? Hell no. But I will take this, though. All right. We're going to find it, y'all. We're going to find it. Okay. Because um, I don't want to go all the way around if I don't have to. But there's clearly a wall right there next to dead letters and the stairs that I'm looking at right now. So am I going to have to go all the way around? Let's just keep going straight. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Come get you some. Come get you some. All in the face. Oh, no. I was trying to just get him with headshots. 
No aim assist, y'all. It gets real out here. It gets real out here without the aim assist on. So really, this whole stream has been practicing. It's just been me practicing my headshots on Stadia. That's all it's been about. Pop that off. I need to go fight that dude again, man. I'm tr I forgot all about it. All right. Took care of them. I think my accuracy was about 70%. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. So... Sheesh. Damn, I'm looking at this map, man. I'm all thrown off. Okay, there were some stairs over there, but it looks like that's a boundary wall by the cafeteria to the left of the word cafeteria. It looks like I could have went right there. So teleport, could I fast travel to it? Man, let's just keep going straight. Keep going straight. Nope, not that way. A brother will get lost during the live stream, that's for sure. You can bet on that. All right, so there's some stairs. I went, hit those stairs. That's not the way. Let's go over. That's an office. Damn. I can't be the only one that gets confused by this map. So for all the people that can't run this on your PC for some reason, here it is. Google Stadia being streamed at up to 4K. Now that's crazy as hell, right? You can't forget about that part. See, some of you already forgot that you're watching a Stadia stream. Imagine how I feel playing right now. Hold, hold up. Um... Just run around. What the hell? All right, so that right there was a hiccup. Loading. All right, hold up. So let's go to this thing and see if we can... Fast travel over there. Probably not, though. Dead letters. Dead letters. Where is dead letters? Oh, way up there. All right, so let's go back where I came from, man. Look, it gets real out here sometimes, man, when you're trying to do a live stream and pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing and all that good stuff, man. We've got Carlos in the house. Uh, we got Kendra in here. Petter Games, man. Thank y'all for stopping through. The game is running phenomenally, man. It's just pick it up. That's all I'm going to say. If you're thinking about buying it, buy the game. $40 right now um, is worth that $40. Easily worth that $40 in my opinion. But I'm showing you all reasons why as well. Now, all I need to do, y'all, is get up to pneumatics. But am I supposed to fight that damn boss that I forgot about, though? Can't go there. Forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Okay. So I'm on the right track. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay, yeah, here we go. The Maddox is right here. Damn. Are you serious? But on the map, I can't even see that there was a doorway. I don't know. I get confused. All right, now I need to take this dude out. All right, I saw him that time. Hold on, last time I couldn't make him out. Hold on, let me just study him for a minute. Look at that. Look at the level of physics, though, man. Are y'all serious right now? Is Remedy serious? 
Oh, I see him. Damn. Duck, duck, duck. No. Yo. It's crazy. Oh, I saw him. The hell is his health bar? Man, yo, he has me shook. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm just shooting just to shoot because I don't know where to shoot. Let me see. Come on, come on, man. So I think I'm getting this confused with the floating guy. There was like this other floating dude that I took out. I don't know. Did I take this guy out? Or whatever the hell it is. I might not be able to do this right now. Yo, alright, so look. Somebody tell me, right? Am I wasting my time? So we got Roman in the building, man. Say, sorry if you already answered this, but does it, um, does this have ray tracing enabled? No, sir. I wish. I can't wait for that day that I could say yes, Roman. But not right now, man. But it does have some very good reflections and details, as you can see. Um, and this is the high frame rate mode, Roman. Let me go back to that for you. High frame rate, bro. You also have a graphical setting. I could play with that on. I mean, I don't prefer like 30 FPS. But um, it definitely makes the details a bit better, in my opinion. But it's not worth the significant frame rate difference or whatever for me. All right, look. It is what it is, man. I don't, I just don't know what the, all right, so I'm getting up out of here. I know I, I've never done this before, so I'm just gonna let it, let it be great. I can't kill it yet. Wait, 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 but I kind of remember this. Oh my gosh, yo. <sighs> I just, all I want to do is throw things back at him, but I can't remember if I played this or not. I, I remember fighting this other guy that was floating in the air and stuff, and I think I'm getting confused with that. Man. Like, what the hell am I saying? I got to go back in. I have to go back in, y'all. If you've done it in the chat, please help a brother out. Yeah, Roman, man, I'm definitely looking forward to ray tracing. But that's the beautiful thing about the future upgrades that's going to come, you know, um, when they do hit the platform, it's just going to make it that more appealing, man. To be getting PC like um, features and performance and stuff. Let me go back to high frame rate. We already getting PC like performance. In certain games such as. That's just this one now, the graphics, that's a different story. But as far as like just playability and all that stuff, hold on. Right track. All right, so if I see it, I got to get it. Anything in here that I forgot? Nope, that's the bathroom. So, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. Hell no. I wish you could do a roll. All right, hold on. Now, let me see something. Open collectibles. Um, reach the object of the power to cleanse it. Did that already, I think. Or did I not? Might be a new one. So much to, so much you could check out, man. I, I can go back and read this at any time. So let me just cycle through it. Damn, that's really making me mad, man. Because I, really, I know I've done this. I've gotten past this part. But I just don't know how. 
All right. An object of power. Looks like the hiss has latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Oh, I had to cleanse it. Okay. Damn, so how the hell how do they expect me to do that? Let's go up here. Knew I wasn't going crazy. I know I did this. Oh. Hey, the whole time, y'all. This is all, this is all I had to do. Are you serious right now? I throw the controller, man. I throw the controller. <laughs> Woo! And I just dropped it. Oh my god, I just dropped the controller, man. That's crazy. That's the difference between live streaming and just focusing the hell up when you're not streaming, man. That's the difference. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, bro, I'm playing right now with no aim sensitivity, man. I mean, no um aim assist on right now, right? The whole time I've been playing with no aim assist. Where the hell is it? Controls, gameplay, uh, aim assist. Now my son wasn't out there watching, streaming at 4K or whatever. It, it would feel even more responsive. That's crazy. Um, Wait a minute. So I need to, oh, now I have my abilities. This is where the game gets fun, right? Here. It is already fun, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Things get real out here. All right. Where's the other one? Where's the, okay. All right. So there's gonna be a couple more enemies to shoot right here. I know that much. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Headshot City. Let's go. Can't see him. He blended in with the damn background. Hold on, hold on. All right, he blended in with the with the wall. I couldn't even see him, y'all. That's crazy. Let's jump back up in there. All right. Hey, Sean said, "Bruh, yeah, I know. You know what I mean, Sean? But get out here." And, and do these streams, man, when you're trying to pay attention, right? When you're playing, like, story-driven games and stuff like that. Or games where you just need to pay attention or you, or else you're just going to get lost, man. When you're streaming, it, may, it complicates things sometimes. For a, for a streamer like me. Now, somebody like, um, let me see, who we have in here? Man, somebody else is what I'm saying. They might not be phased by it. Like a Megatron X, she's really good at that kind of stuff, man. And so many others. But I got to pay attention to what the hell I'm doing or I'm getting lost. I'm going to tell you that now. And I know I'm not the only one, so I don't feel bad. Okay. I thought I... What the hell? So, wait. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. You I wasn't going crazy. Oh, man. All right. Let me try that again. It's already there. I was trying to show off because it's so fluid that I, could, I can go faster if I want to. But look, fell off again because I didn't pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. All right. Already there again. All right, this time, let's take your time. And again, y'all, I'm telling you, my TV, I, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. 
like the black levels and stuff just seem different than anything I'm used to. I'm coming from playing on OLED, I mean on LEDs to now OLEDs or, or OLED. Which is a great thing, by the way. Like the black levels and all that stuff is just ridiculous. Hold on. Look, headshot is nothing. It's nothing to get headshots with no aim assist. You know, it's nothing. That's the easy part. Oh, oh, I almost fell off again. Yo, I'm telling you, it just fools me. It's like a mirage. All right. There we go. So right here, um, let me see how many people was up in the building. 13 watching. I'm not ending it right now. That's all. I'm going to keep on going, let people see as people come in, they get a chance to check out the gameplay. Then I'm going to probably do a flight sim stream later on Xbox Series X. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. It's not going to hurt you. Oh, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. All right, here we go. All the time running on Google Stadia, y'all. What else can I say? All right, oh, 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 oh. Where are they? Underneath me? How smart. Take that anyway, though. Oh, damn. Oh, messed up. All right, took care of them. So I'm going to end it in a few minutes, but not, not right now because it just got kind of real. All right, okay. Now I'm up, hey, I'm on Google Stadia right now, man. You going to run up on me? Are you serious? Okay, mail room. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. All right, so I know I can clear that out. I'll come back to that though. See, if, it, if ray tracing was on, you would see that reflection right there. That would be a great moment for ray tracing. Uh, now, where was that room I needed to clear? Hold up. Really can't believe the game is here, man. I'm, I'm playing it right now, and I still can't believe that I'm on the game. I've been waiting for this game for a long time since it was before it was announced for sure. All right. So I know I got to fight somebody. This must open the door. Okay. All 
All right, now this is the room. After this fight right here, I'm going to end it. This is what I thought I was doing earlier, y'all. Mr. Perfect, I wonder what system has the best version, man. That is a great question, by the way. I was talking about Luna and uh, GeForce Now and all of them earlier. Now, this guy was hard to hit on PC, so I know. You know, if I'm all over the place with no aim assist, that's why. Because <laughs> I'm telling you right now, he flies around like crazy. There we go, direct hit. Oh, damn. I might die. But you got to give it to Stadia when it comes to the graphics, though. I mean, simply because you're looking at the, the 4K version in the cloud. That's not possible anywhere else. You have to give it to Stadia for that. For coming out here, being able to hit 4K. I think people, people underestimate that a lot. But I'm here to remind them that, look, man, when we're talking about next level cloud gaming, this right here is where it's at, man, as I die. But it's all right because this is cool to look at, so I don't mind it. But yeah, man, Stadia's out here really killing the game when it comes to clarity, and I prefer clarity all the time, you know? And I know others will get there. Luna will get there. They're already capable of 4K. You can change, you can, you know, there's, there's certain Ubisoft games Right now that you can go in and select 4K when it comes to Luna, right? xCloud, uh, they're going to have to work on it. They're going to work on it, but they'll get there. You know, this is Microsoft we're talking about. GeForce Now, that's NVIDIA we're talking about. But at the same time, uh, I'm not even sure why NVIDIA is not there yet with GeForce Now. You know, they should be. Oh, is this door open already? Hold on. All right. So, yeah, man, I mean, when you just think about the fact that Stadia just has that in the bag, man, right now, I don't know. It's just showing why they're ahead of the game when it comes to performance and technology. Now, I'm not going to say performance because uh, those other services I just named, like you could hit um, higher FPS in certain games or whatever, like GeForce Now to be able to turn on ray tracing and all that stuff and tweak settings and Luna, you could do the same thing. So that's cool. Even good. That's a good trade off, right? But when it comes to clarity, having a 65 inch OLED LG C1 that I'm playing on right now, no worries about burning and none of that stuff right now because I'm playing the game. And as y'all can see, I'm in and out of the menu. So it's not, I'm not worried about burning, whatever, right? Um, however, if there was a HUD on screen, all I could do is hit the start button. All right. Then I can get out of it. I don't have to worry about burning, right? But what I'm saying here is that I'm playing on the 65 inch screen. You need 4K to take advantage of that, that extra crispness, that extra detail, man, the clarity that you need. Because I'm telling y'all, I was on Battlefield 5 on, on xCloud yesterday and it just did not look, it was pixelated beyond belief, man. I couldn't believe it felt great. So I can definitely play it. But man, I miss that clarity, though. When you look at the text right here, you know what I'm saying? The text is there. Like, everything is just there. You don't see the drop in, like the pixelation, the lack of clarity at any given. Like, you, I, I can't. I don't know, y'all. I'm just going to have to go back and watch the stream to see if there was any of that. But I can't imagine Stadia pixelating or anything like that for me. Um, let's see. Even that up to 4K resolution or when it's set to 4K. Hold on one sec. Let me make sure it's set to 4K. I'm doing all this talking, you know, as I accept this friend invite, man, send me a friend request. If you get on these games, now I do make a lot of content. Sometimes it's hard to find me, but check that out. HDR off, surround sound off right now, but 4K is on. That's all I care about. Data usage, yes, it's at 20 gigs per hour. But I don't have to worry about data caps. So who is this going to be for first? It's going to be for the people who can manage their data caps if they have them. Or the people with no data caps. Like, that's the importance of working with the ISP. These ISP, the internet service providers, right? Work with them on ways, on packages or whatever. Maybe they can implement something like that for the cloud upcoming cloud gaming, um, gaming boom that's sure to happen in the next few years, right? You don't have to worry about that, man. You can either manage your data. Don't play Stadia all damn day. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't play X Cloud or whatever you prefer all day. You know, there's ways to manage that. I don't have to worry about it. People in other territories don't have to worry about data caps, you know, so Stadia is going to make sense to a lot of people, especially when you see stuff like this right here. Bang, let me get that. I got you right here. Win fate. Got you live on air. You know, this is how we do it, man. Let y'all see the Stadia Plus extension. You know, if I can click on it, you know, it works sometimes, works when it wants to. You know, maybe it's me. Maybe I need to refresh. Let's see. All right, there it is. So we're going to refresh anyway, see what happens. What does it do to the gameplay while it's live? You know what I mean? Let's check out the stream. Um, all right. So just refresh. Can I get back in? Is, is my controller sync? What's, we might be witnessing some kind of weird hiccup right now. All right. Let's refresh that bad boy one more time. Either way, I should be able to jump right back into the game. Yeah, so, so look, right back into it. Now I needed to sync my controller. Here we go. And then we're back in, man. All right. So just like that. Oh, man, but my controller is definitely not synced. So I'm going to have to go. This would be a perfect time. Hold on. My mouse is. Oh, it link. Uh, so, so that's what it is. My mouse and keyboard is sync. So I could play right now. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this right here. We're going to go to a whole nother browser. Let's go to the Microsoft Edge browser. This is my other console. Remember I told you about all these consoles, man? Stadia right there. Just click on it. These are my consoles in the cloud. Okay, now I know Stadia is not a console. For all the people you know, I know better. I'm talking about these specific browsers. I'm going to call them consoles, you know? Because I don't have to worry about hardware failure and stuff like that. You know, like um, pre-ordering a console and hoping I get one. All of that stuff goes out the window when you come to the cloud. Look at that. Instant success. That's what, now you get a good example of what I'd be talking about. When I say if you have problems with one browser... It's all good. Just go to another one. If I had problems with this one, let me just show y'all. I go down here to Opera. Uh, where is it? Somewhere on here. Opera GX. It was down bottom. I can go there, play Stadia. You know what I'm saying? Come up with any browser that can handle Stadia. And then I just jump into the game. So let me, which one did I just open up? Okay, so we're going to close out all of this. I don't want to close out of the live stream. All right, so let's jump in. Microsoft Edge browser, just like that. Same high quality. I might die, but it's all right. You see what I'm saying? Where else can you get that? You can't get that. Only in the cloud, man. Like, I can't, I can't. If my Series X starts tripping, I can't go to... Well, I could go to my PS5. You know, but I'm going to lose my progress or whatever. I might... My saves are not going to transfer and all that stuff. It's not going to be as streamlined as what you just saw right there. So these are some of the advantages of playing in the cloud. You know? Alright. Hold on. So... Look at all, look at this level of destruction in physics, man. Oh yeah, I knew I was going to die. The next time I come back in, though, I'm going for the kill. I'm going for the kill and then I'm going to shut the stream down, y'all. I think we've seen enough 4K goodness for one session. I got to leave some of that energy for Microsoft Flight Sim, man. But it's going to be hard to get off of games like Control and Rainbow Six and PUBG and Destiny 2 and the Division 2 over here running like that and Sekiro and Madden and so many other games that you can just get on this platform and just enjoy at up to 4K 60 FPS, man. It's hard to get away from that, y'all. That's why I play so much Stadia. I should be playing games on my PC. I got a 3080 in it, right? Man. Maybe it's still some of that gameplay time away from other platforms. That's all I'm saying. 
A lot more than I thought, actually. No aim assist needed. It's Google Stadia. Hold up. All in the face. Oh, man. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh. I know the fire extinguisher didn't kill me. I hope it didn't. All right, I might have to focus up real quick. Let me see. Stadia Doses News. What's the verdict? He said, what's the verdict? Flip Wells, I mean, Weiss is in the house, man. Philip Weiss. I said Flip. I can't see because I got my damn boom arm in the way, man. My bad, Philip. We got, uh, Philip said, data caps at home should just be illegal. Yeah, man, it should, especially in 2021, man. Damn, ISPs. Like, put, a, put some packages together for the people and help them get rid of these data caps, man, especially over here in the U.S. Damn. All right, so... Mr. Perfect said, what is Stadia Plus? I've heard of it. Stadia Plus is the real deal, man. Stadia Plus is not something that's, I don't think Stadia advertises that as something that is compatible with or whatever the case is, man. But what it does is allows you to set different resolutions on, like, say you have a 1440p monitor or whatever. You can go in there and select 4K, 4K 1440p. It, I don't use these. As you can see, I'm only 4K'd out, but if you want to experiment or whatever, like if you install this on your phone, for example, or whatever the case is, I'm thinking that you'll be able to stream at the 720p experimental, as you see here, 1080p, different resolutions, different, um, different uh, data rates and everything like that. Of course, the lesser you go, 720p, it only requires like a handful of gigs per hour. I don't know the exact number, y'all, because I'm so 4K'd out. Forgive me, man. Somebody stay the doses news in the chat. He can help you. Somebody else in the chat can help you with the exact numbers and stuff, man. But what it it just allows you to play around different different um codecs or whatever, like VP9. Um, then you just hit apply or whatever, and you can apply. Like if I wanted to use H.264, I can use that as well. So things like this is what I like to see. But look at look at what it says right here. It's like GeForce now but without any pool games. Wow. See, this is why Stadia, see Stadia, they, it's not officially supported by Stadia for reasons like this, right? <laughs> because they, they just, hey, these, these lines are always funny, man, when you get out there and check them out. But I think it's just some users that got together and, and came up with this, uh, a way to, to add more um, options or whatever to what we have, man. All right, you also got this right here. You know what I mean? Resolution, 4K. It pulls up things like latency, 7 milliseconds of latency. That's good as hell. Uh, you see all that right there. Uh, you can see if I got packet loss looking pretty good, man. So right now, my setup is running Stadia really. I mean, it's just running it really well. Average packet loss has all that information. You can have it up there real time, man. You know? So that's some of the things that it does. Let's just keep it up real quick. Now, I can tell you right now that LP, the FPS counter is not always accurate because if I were to put this on 30 FPS, it would still say 60 to 63 or whatever FPS. But it's up there if you want to if you want to see it. All right, but well, let's get to this boss battle. I need to focus up though, y'all, so I can get him up out of here. Whoa, my brother Stadia Dosa said, what's the verdict? If this thing was only 30 FPS, I can't lie. The stream would have lasted probably 30 seconds to 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But because it's 60 it has a high frame rate mode, that's what you're seeing right now. Beautiful graphic. So, so, they, so they do explode. So they do explode. Okay. Okay, y'all. MM2K is in here too, man. Damn. That's the bruh. He said it's 4K 60, 1080p 60. How's the visual? Hey, look, so right now, if this is 1080p upscaled to 4K, because it's definitely upscaled to 4K, as you all can see, this is the high, high frame rate mode. Let me go back to it one more time. Graphic setting right there. 30 FPS, it says it. 30 FPS gameplay with the higher graphical quality, right? But right here... 
targeting 60 fps it doesn't say what it's upscaled from i don't care the game is it, 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 40 dollars, man go out there and cop it 60 fps mode is all we care about mm2k cop the game man stop playing you you bought worse games bro so you don't have an excuse so have i now let's focus up get this boy out of here with no with aim assist off man get him up out of here oh oh hold up I gotta get I have to get rid of his team first hold on I want y'all to check out the level of physics we know how hard this game is to run on PC now keep that on keep that in mind look at the look at the level the visual quality that you're getting oh my god bro I'm about to die again see how I did that you see how I did that all right hold on Where the hell is big dude? So let me take this dude right here out. Oh man. Come on, reload, please. See, I'm not going for headshots anymore, man. I'm just trying to kill him. All right. And this is what I'm saying. I tell people, man. Ah, I'm going to get your ass. See, I tell people, like, you can't. I just don't get out here and play Stadia for five minutes. Yep, it works great and shut it down. Hell no. Hell no. I'm playing for three, four hours so people can see. If there's lag, if there's latency, you're going to catch it live on stream. You know what I'm saying? I want people to know why I'm out here enjoying Stadia and talking about it, so praising it so heavily. Got to let the people know at 4K all day. All right, hold on, hold on. Just check it out, though. Look at the, the smooth fluidity, man. I mean, for real, like, you, you don't even understand how it feels right now, y'all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, good move, bruh. Oh, what killed me? All right, hold on, man. Hold, 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 hold. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take this off real quick. This had nothing to do with why I died, but damn. You know, window mode right there. It's real neat. So if you have to check something, you know what I mean? Um, Like, come on, man. Let me see what's up with the chat because I'm not going to end the stream until I beat this dude. Uh, Torres said running it, running on 60 FPS, pretty steady. It's definitely pretty steady. Uh, Mr. Perfect said Nintendo Switch has the best version of this game. Oh, you know what, man? I'm not even going to talk about the Switch, man, because the Switch, first of all, Switch, Switch. Now nah, you done got me started, man. They got, I, I, they, they're coming with the OLED screen. I'm playing on the OLED screen right now. You know what I'm saying? So I know the Switch games is going to be beautiful on it. But when you're out here, man, in 2021, only offering 720p handheld and dock 1080p, I don't know, man. It's consumers like me that want that 4K, 8K. So I, I just skipped the squit, the, the Switch, man, the Switch. I skipped out on the Switch because it don't have up to 4K, and I, I want that. Especially if I'm going to be playing them in my home. If my Switch is charging or whatever, if I want to play docked, it's only at 1080p. I need 4K, man. If I want 1080p, I can go to xCloud and all that. You know what I'm saying? No shots. No shots fired or anything like that. It's just a fact. Um, here we go. Come on, man. All right, so... Okay, so this dude is not playing around, but the game is running so damn smooth right now. So I, I'll die 50 times and won't even be mad. Oh my. Yo, what the hell? I'm picking up explosives and don't even realize it. Come on, 
Come on. Oh, if I would have hit him with that, he would have been hurt. So how I can't heal myself? All right, hold on. Oh, my, all right, so, okay, okay. So I'm about to take my time, y'all. This might, this will be the last time I try this. I gotta focus up. I'm gonna take my time, take out all these enemies around here, watch the explosives that keep killing me, and I'm gonna get them out of here so we can get up out of here, man, and go get some food, some drinks or whatever, and have an awesome day. So this is the time that I need to do that right here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. They can fly. Great. All right, so we'll get away from the explosives. Let's be extra careful. Uh, oh, he's trying to hit me up. I can't just stay in one spot. Damn, of course he's going to die as that. Damn it. Okay, so right there. Is that when I can hit him? Damn it. Oh, my God. What? That dude is nice, man. Okay, so all of the other... Oh, there we go. Oh, my... Okay. All right. Damn. I get it, man. I get it. You want me dead. I'm just trying to end the stream. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> Damn. It gets real out here, y'all. Ah, no aim assist, man. No aim assist. This is how I've been playing all stream. I'm not turning it back on. I got to get it done, y'all. Let's see. Look at, the, look at the graphics, though. Okay, so I need to take his health, and then I can hit him after I stagger him. Hold on. Just wasted my time with that. All right, hit him, hit him. Damn it. Got him. Watch these little guys. That's right. Let's go. Do this thing like a gamer. Oh my, no, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. How do I switch shoulders, man? How the hell did I do that? No, sir. All right, hold on. Damn. Okay. Oh, he hit me. No. The hell. All right. So he might just give me an L, y'all, because I just, I don't know what else to do. And what's crazy is I have footage beating this guy like in the first attempt on PC. Right here on my channel. That's what's crazy. That's what's crazy, y'all. I don't know why it seems harder right now. Sheesh.
<sighs> I don't understand it. I mean, you see me, I'm hitting him, and it's not, it's definitely not a stadia thing at all. It's like this dude is really on me right now. I don't even know what to do. Damn. Aim assist. Can't turn it back on, though. I can't. Look, I'm hitting him up. All right. Duck, duck, duck. Shh. All right, hold on. Give me that head shot. Let's go. Pop that head off. See, the precision is definitely there. Just that this dude is a beast, man. All right. Why am I even trying this? You know he's going to dodge it. Hold on. Look. Look at this. Headshot. Let's go. Oh, damn, bro. No. All right. I saw it. What the hell am I supposed to do here, man? Cherry Man. Where's Cherry Man Gaming? Where's Jerry, man? I want to throw something in the damn Bering Sea. Look, this is, hey, y'all, it's hard. It's hard. I'm not even going to lie to you. Mm. Henry said, it's pretty hard. I was dying on Luna trying to <laughs> trying this game about six months ago. But I've already done it, bro. So, I just can't go out like this. So, it might take me 30 tries. I'm just going to have to do it. They can fly now. Great. And if it wasn't for his team, man, he'd be done. Look at this, bro. Like, are you serious right now? How do I how do I switch shoulders, y'all? Man, 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 man. It's cold red. I need help. <sighs> I don't understand. I might have to look at the, op the damn options just to see. How did I do this? Um nope. What button? Oh, there it is, down on the D-pad. That's going to make life a little bit easier. So aimed and down on the D-pad to switch shoulders. I got it. Or just down on the D-pad, period. All right. Um, New approach. I'm going to try the right side of the map. They can fly now. Great. All right, let's get ready to hide. Let me know what's coming. This dude, look at this dude, man. Oh, gosh. See, I got to watch him. And I have to watch them. Whoa, 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 no, hide. Damn it. Oh, gosh, you got to be able to do a roll or something.
Get out of there! Shit! Okay, who's shooting me? Go ahead and throw it. Go ahead and throw it. Throw the other one. Oh, he has one. No way. Come on, Storm. What are you doing, man? I can't heal. He's right here. How did he go? Smartest AI, I'm telling y'all, man. Smartest AI in gaming. Let's see. All right. So I got some health back. Throw the other one. Throw the other one. Come on. We know what you like to do. Hit him in the head one time. Oh. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, gosh. Hold up. Hold up. Now this dude wants to hide. Take that. Oh, no. Oh, he's almost dead. Okay. Hold on. Fall back. Oh, sh no, no, no. Almost got him out of here, y'all. Hold on one sec. Shouldn't have taken this damn long, man. don't no you don't don't do it <sighs> that should not have taken that long but I have a feeling. we got him out of here I'll take it y'all now we can shut this thing down. But I tell you this right here. For those of you who joined in late, this is why we play on Google Stadia. Um, you get experiences like that. You will get your ass kicked if you come over here thinking that it's just going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this has been a great experience, man. Overall, the game plays phenomenally. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it's not perfect. As you can see, when you hit the pause button or whatever, you come back out of the game, there's this hiccup right there, but then it's gone. So that's the only thing that I found. You know, there's a little bit of aliasing in the background, so you're going to see stuff like that, right? Um, but overall, what the hell are y'all doing? Pick up the game. It's that simple, man. If you're thinking about spending that $40 on it, you should have already purchased it by now because I think I've given you all uh, a good two hour stream right now. Let me see. How long is the stream? All right. It's been over two hours, y'all. Straight gameplay. 
showing you how the game performs on Stadia. I, I'm loving it. Been waiting for the game. Still can't believe it's here. So go out and cop that. I'm going to go ahead and eat some food. And um, Ron Slusher's in the house, man. Who else stopped through? Appreciate everybody that stopped through, that's for sure. Damn, that fight was crazy, man. Took a lot of energy out of me, man. Damn. So, I want to go ahead and give y'all a shout out one more time, man. We had Kimry V up in the building. Ron Slusher stopped through. Christopher Torres, man. Mr. Perfect. Kendra Kuhn in the building, man. Sean L. We had MM2K, Stadia Doses News. Um, Philip Weiss. Who else? Roman. We had Kalos. We had Petter Games in the house, man. We also had Geek the Sneak, Rick Tone, Gamer TV, Randy B, Thomas McCargo. We had Alex Billy in the house, y'all. Cloud Gaming Extreme, Gabe Mendez, um, Packet Man. We had Porter John. Who else, man? I want to make sure Anders was up in here. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate each and every one of y'all as well as the lurkers who came through to check out the game's performance. Control is the real deal. Go ahead and get a screenshot right there. Three, two, one, bang. Go ahead and get a, a last second screenshot before I end the stream. But three things I need y'all to do, man. Cold Drinks was up in here as well, y'all. Can't forget about Cold Drinks, man. Three things I need y'all to do is keep it safe, keep it positive, and keep it gaming. And if you're sleeping on Stadia still right now in July 2021, I have to ask you, the hell are you doing out here? The hell are you doing out here? If you want to, like, how can you overlook performance like this, y'all? How? I mean, should I do bonus content and boot it up on another platform? Or should I save it for the next one? I don't know. I think I'll save it for the next one. Like I said, GeForce Now makes a strong argument with that ray tracing. You know what I mean? But it does come at a cost. Um... X Cloud game plays plays all right over there, you know what I mean. But it's only it's capped at 30 FPS. Last time I checked, man, it's just not ready for the big stage. This right here was big stage performance today. You see, big stage, big 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 stage physics and explosions and stuff. You see what I'm saying right there? That's big stage. Look at the lighting. Look at the blood, man. Look at everything right there. No flame. No no. I mean, no FPS drops. None of that. I can't even talk, man. Particles everywhere. I mean, Stadia, what are y'all out here doing, man? Like, you got to start telling the competition what the hell you're doing, Stadia, because, see, what is happening is that people are going to say Google Stadia is the only place to play in the cloud. We don't want that to happen. We need the competition to drive this market and drive this industry. But if y'all keep doing stuff like this right here, Stadia, look at the silt. Look at the silt. Look at the silt. You hear what I'm saying? Stadia, if y'all keep doing this right here. I mean, what the hell is the competition supposed to do when y'all out here doing stuff like this? Stadia at 4K. Up to 4K, man. Like, what are y'all doing over here? So, with all that being said, man, this right here is real addictive, by the way. Real addictive doing this right here. Check out the board, y'all. Physics in the board. Can I hit it again and make it do something different? Can I hit it again? Look at that. Look at the look at the look at the windows. Look at the damn yo. Control, man. This is why I was waiting on it so long. It doesn't matter how old the game is. It's about how that game performs in the cl I forgot I was playing in the cloud. That quick. Man, man. Man, man. I tell you. Okay, so I think y'all got the point, man. Until the next time, your boy's up out of here, man. Peace. Psych. I ain't going yet, man. 120 hertz right there to end the stream. You got to do it the proper way. There it is. Bang. 120 hertz desktop setting at 4K resolution, y'all. 8-bit color depth, all that good stuff. Standard dynamic range, and the game still look like it did. Now I'm up out of here for real. Peace, y'all. Make sure you check out this, the Summer Community Championship.
going on right now. Week three has kicked off, y'all. Check that out, man, because your boy, I've been hosting every week. Um, as you see on the screen, there was a chance to win up to $1,400. So don't you dare forget about the Summer Community Championship. You want some free prizes like what you see on the screen right now? Follow Summer Community Championship on Twitter. Um, some big things going down. Go to StadiaHunters.com and register today. If you want more details, hit me up, man. But now I'm up out of here for real, y'all. Until next time, peace.